Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to another video that I'm doing in partnership with Sleek Makeup. What? Why they want to work with me twice is astounding to me, but here we are, good things happen. Today I'm going to be doing this look here with you that is on my visage right now using the new Sleek Makeup Nude Essentials kit. So the Nude Essentials comes in this beautiful metallic kind of faux leather feeling bag and you get an eyeshadow palette, a lip liner and a nude matte me liquid lipstick. That's what I'm wearing, that's what I'm wearing. We've gone cool tone today which is very exciting because we never really do that here and I'm obsessed with how this look came out, like it's so simple but it's very very pretty and I feel like you could wear this to a party or an occasion, that's why I've got like a, a pretty dress on and I've attempted to curl my hair. This is £16, you can find it at Boots, I will link it of course down in the description, down in the description box down below and I really highly recommend it, imagine wrapping that under the tree. Great gift. So the eyeshadow palette is one of Sleek's like traditional eyeshadow palettes. It has two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve eyeshadows in it. I'm prepared. In the palette you've got eight matte eyeshadows and then four metallic eyeshadows. I'll show you some swatches hopefully right now um, of the palette on my arm. This palette has really impressed me with its pigmentation. But once I put all the cool tones through my crease and on my lid, I thought that this really beautiful gunmetal grey would be so cool all over the lid and I really think it is, it's so pretty. And then the lip combo is definitely one of my favourites, I've been wearing this for the past few days actually, um, and it's Feels Matte Me Liquid Lipstick with Nude Lip Liner, I mean it's just a great combo. I just really like that I set out my comfort zone and did a cool tone look and I think it actually does kind of complement my skin tone, let me know what you think about that down in the comments. But without any further ado, let's jump into me using this beautiful Nude Essentials gift set and also another big thank you to Sleek for partnering with me on this video. It's very exciting for me and I really hope that you all like it. Bye. But I don't look as good as I did a minute ago. So I've already got most of my base on because we did it in the recent Sleek video. Um, so I used the Life Proof Foundation, the concealer, Life Proof Concealer. So good. So good. And then my very favourite sleek face contour kit in light. I mean, I'm definitely about to hit pan. Can you see? You can't see how big a dent I've got in that. So we're going to go in with the Eau Naturelle palette, which looks a little Sutton Sutton like this. It looks exactly like this because I'm showing it to you. And I thought, because of the kind of theme of the gift set, which is nude essentials, and because I've got a really beautiful nude lip, I thought we'd do a really dark, maybe even black, smoky eye and a nude lip, which is such a kind of staple party look, I feel. So I'm gonna bring you in a bit closer and then we'll start with the eyes. I'm taking a pencil brush to start off with and I'm going in with a deep brown matte shade. I am pressing so gently and these shadows are so pigmented, it's unreal. I'm just placing that all the way around my crease, inner corner to outer corner. And I am tapping off the excess, so I'm trying not to get fallout. But I do find these shades don't have that much fallout actually. I'm not taking it a lot higher than my crease at this point because I don't know if you're anything like me, a smoky eye can turn a pinch too dramatic quite quickly. So I've just packed that colour on through the crease and I'm just picking up a really small amount of that same shade on a fluffier brush and I'm going to start to blend it out very gently because I am trying to keep this wearable you know I can get a bit carried away. So that colour's just starting to soften around the edges, but I need to go with a lighter shade just to soften it even more. So I'm picking up this lighter brown in the palette, and I'm going to start wiggling that all the way around. And that's going to really, really diffuse it 
into my socket. So I've just spent a bit of time blending that two shades. I'm gonna go with a lighter shade now on a big fluffy brush and wiggle that around the top. Oh yeah, that's the kind of tone I wanna to bring in. Kind of light brown. I don't know what I was gonna call it there. So it's a light brown. And I'm just wiggling that in. And that's just really gonna soften up our crease as well. Even further, um, I might even use a pinch of this gray. Okay, I'm gonna just put on the black and then we'll deal with what happens afterwards. Right, I'm going in with the black and I'm holding a fan brush underneath my eye just in case of any extra fallout. Oh, she's pigmented. Okay. Because black can be quite hard to clean up. So I'm just gonna pat that all over my mobile eyelid. And hopefully this little brush is catching any little specks that might come off. So I've got that black all over my mobile lid. Made a bit of a boob on that corner, that's fine. I'm gonna go back in that first deep brown and I'm gonna just start blending the edge of the black So although I'm not finished blending this out, you can see the difference between the blend like through the crease. And then I'm going in with a smaller brush and that light grey from the top row. And I'm just gonna blend gently even further. I actually, there's a really deep purple sparkly shade in this palette and I'm so tempted to put that over my lid you know I can't resist a bit of sparkle. Just gonna throw that deep brown all the way along the lower lash line just now. And I'll blend it out in a second. Just gonna blend the edges using the top row, one of the light browns. Yeah, I can't, I'm kind of deciding which one of these shades to put on my lid. And I'm actually veering more towards this one because it's still cool toned and I think that'd be really nice with a nude lip. Oh yeah, I have to do it, I'm sorry. I know I said a matte black smoky eye, but, but you know what I'm like with a pretty metallic shade, oh. I'm making an executive decision to go in with this gorgeous like gunmetal metallic, look at it. Oh, I've just wet it because I'm hoping that I'll get less fall out, oh yeah. I am really, really falling for cool tones. And this palette is probably my only like really cool tone palette now. That's such a pretty color. Just taking the same metallic shade on my blending brush and I'm going to blend it slightly into the crease. I quite like metallics in my crease but also it's just going to help it look a lot more seamless having just a pinch of it in there. I'm getting a little bit of fallout here but I'll be able to just brush that off really easily. For my inner corner I'm going to take this stunning metallic quite a big inner corner so I'm packing quite a lot on and kind of taking it slightly along my lower lash line and then into the front just blending it a little that's so beautiful it's a tiny pinch too dark for me though so I'm going to go in with this shade from my Solstice palette 
and just brighten it up a wee pinch just because I've got really fair skin so I need quite a bright inner corner perfect so I'll just throw my lashes on quickly and then I'll zoom out and we will see the kind of eyes or lashes I think it will really make a difference so let me zoom out and then we'll move on to lips and finishing off the rest of my face now I've got my lashes on I'm going to quickly highlight using my solstice palette my favorite you all know this by this point that's why and then a pinch of rose gold blush just need to bring a bit of warmth in at my skin And our last step is Matte Me in Feels and Nude Lip Liner. You know I love a pale nude and this is pretty pale. Just put it over here, just, you know, why not? It's got a nice peachiness to it and I really like it. If you've watched my channel before you know I really like the matte me liquid lipsticks because I think they're really nice and um, really long lasting really comfortable though they literally don't dry out your lips even if you wear them for like eight hours and then I'm gonna go in with the nude lip liner I've actually used this a few times so it's not as sharp as it was but it's fine <laughs> this is where I tend to take the liberty to overline my lips a little bit And just really get that nice sharp defined line so I'm just gonna go attempt to do something with my hair and then we'll round up our thoughts on this look but I mean so far is that not just really classic smoky eye nude lip give me two minutes that was four I mean two so here is my finished look then I put some curls in my hair I guess <laughs> so bad at hair. I am really digging this cool toned eye. I think cool tones are really making a comeback and this au naturel. Is it au naturel or au naturel? Au naturel palette is so good for doing cool tones. You could definitely do like a warm tone look because there is like a um, really lovely plum, a really lovely plum sparkle and then some of these mattes. Like you could do a warm tone look with this palette, but I just think cool tones is just not what I usually do. And I really wanted to try it. So I really like how it came out. This lip is so comfortable. It's unbelievably comfortable. I've always loved these since I first tried them. I really love this kit and it's only 16 pounds. So if you've got someone you wanna buy a Christmas present for, or if you wanna put it in a stocking filler, I would love to find something like this under the tree. I mean, any makeup is good under the tree but especially when it comes in this beautiful bag i've actually got this full of other stuff because i used this for the last few days i went away it fits so much in it and it's a really nice quality bag and it's pretty so that's just an added bonus with makeup let me know what you think of this look down below and i want to say a big thank you again to sleep for partnering with me on this video i really hope you like maybe my hair is not as pitiful as i thought and yeah let me know what you think of this look. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for supporting my channel. I really appreciate it. And I really hope I will see you in my next video. Bye.